Newsroom, a Lakeland teen is speaking out for the first time. Kira Wilmot was arrested last month after a bottle exploded at Bartow High School. Tonight, Wilmot and her family are saying it's a simple science project gone bad. Our Alex Hobson joins us now live from Lakeland with the latest. Alex? That's right. I just stepped out of this news conference within the last hour, and this is the piece of the puzzle we've been waiting for. Finally, now that all of the charges have been dropped, we get to hear her side of the story. Standing hand in hand with her twin sister, Kayla, 16-year-old Kira Wilmot took to the podium. And for the first time, we got to hear what really happened, in her words, back on April 22nd. I made the mistake of performing my experiment outside of the classroom. However, that is the only mistake I feel that I have made. Wilmot generated global attention after she was arrested on two felony charges for what her family calls a science project gone wrong. Wilmot brought a bottle of household chemicals to school and said she was convinced by peers to put foil in it, causing an explosion before class. Charges have since been dropped, but the district does not let her return to Bartow High. She's now spending her days in an alternative high school, away from her sister. It's kind of hard to play my viola knowing that my sister can't play her cello by my side. The family, along with the ACLU, are pleading for the district to let her return. But today we caught up with Bartow High School's principal, who says there are two sides to this story. Just like she wants to come back, I'm sure that other parents want her not to be back because of the safety factor for their student. But Wilmot says this whole thing is all just one big misunderstanding. I didn't want anybody to get hurt or any property damage, and this was all just an accident. Now, something interesting we learned today. Wilmot's attorney said since this has happened, both girls have been inundated with science scholarship offers and internship requests. But here in Polk County, the school district tells us they're still debating whether or not any further disciplinary action should be taken. Reporting live in Lakeland tonight, Alex Hobson, ABC Action News.